Okay, it's quarter to five in the afternoon, guys. Come on. What better way to finish the afternoon into the early evening with some StarCraft? Especially with some junior Star League. Or the dog's like, my dog's trying to co cast with me. Alright, so with yesterday, result of Jim Lewis and Drachnus. Tragic event happened during stream. Internet decided to call it quits. But it's not going to stop us from streaming the rest of the games. We are going to go to the Coke series. Ooh. Only a two game series. This is going to be interesting. A PVZ. We are going to watch it right now. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you guys are getting your games in for week four. Classic downloading of the old patch. The death of the black screen. We will wait on to StarCraft. Download that patch. Everyone's doing well today. As we go to Golden Wall as the first game. All right. Who's ready for some P B Z? Representing Born Gosu as the proper Protoss. We have Coke. I do, I have an idea what the LGN means, but from the clan LGN, playing as the blue Zerg, we have Full Nox. Opening standard. Match gas pool. Coat going with the gate opener. No, we just started. War buff. We are starting with Coke and Voluk Nux. And yours are next. There's no sound. Let there be sound. That's what we see. Nexus before Cybercore. This shall be interesting. Alright, there's the Cybercore. I believe Coke has to put down another pylon in order for this wall. 
<laughs> daunted in chat saying, you miss only the love of Phoenix. Well, meanwhile, we have eightlings, we have an overlord finally going to come over here, expose the holes in the wall, link speed's on the way for Vol Volnux. Twelve links. As we see the blue Zerg going for a very aggressive build here. This Coke has to even get a chrono or a depth here, but the soul links are coming across the map. We have a Stargate as well. Up in the main base. And it's not in the wall. Oh no. It's a little too late. Now the adept has to hurry back to get home. Oh, the legs get through the shade and are blocked in. Now that the adept is surrounded here. This is forcing Coke to force the chrono out for another adept. A solid is going to destroy an adept. The four probes have gone down during all this. More legs are coming across the map slowly but surely. One adept's out. Bullnox thinks he can win this with just links. If he would have had the Bane Nest by now, stayed on gas, he would have had a Bane Nest by now. And the Banes would have destroyed this. Right now that poor adept is blocked inside. This is letting Bullnox group up again. Warp gate is almost complete. This probe is right there. He can see all the links. See the links gather. Hoping you never find him. Oh shoot, he's been found. And another probe goes down for a coke. That's five. And wow, we have a nice shield battery with an oracle as the first gate stargate unit. Third base is coming down as well. Revolt next. Well, that's pretty low of aggression. Sees that there is a sentry with its tickle beams. Links are just gonna go away here. Oracle looking for blood. Well, Nux does not know this is behind this. This coke comes up with a void ray. There's a second option. We're just gonna go to the camera view of Old Nux. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta stop the dog from chewing something. Interruption by the dog. Wow, the imposter is real. As we get a revelation onto the main base. <laughs> Sorry guys, caster's curse of a dog owner. 
Coke enjoying this Alpha Star saturation. Well, getting out there based over here on this side of the Mineral Rhine. Getting Hydras with plus one missiles, Roach Speed as well. But yeah, that is Roach Speed. That's what I thought. Look at that. Not clueless as I thought. We are getting a fleet beacon. Maybe we're gonna get carriers. Maybe we'll get Tempest. Coke going for the air supporting. Meanwhile, it is three base versus three base. As a Zerg player, do you want to have that fourth extra base either on the gold or this one where this Overlord is? Meanwhile, there's a lot of links here on the front. Attacking Coke's main. Natural base. Void Ray's gonna come in saying, ah. More gate while gateways to come down as a wall. As Coke is not looking for to lose this is the game. He wants to make sure this wall is complete. As we see two carriers being warped in. As we get a wrote Hydra speed is almost finished as well. Now we're gonna get to see the spire as well. Most lucky for corruptors. Well Nook's getting that fourth base as well, because he does not know about this base in the bottom him corner. Yeah, he does not know about this base here yet. Until the overseer comes in. Uh oh, plus two. Oh, he's gonna see all the void rays. Sees the carrier as well. Sees that the minerals are mined over here. That gives a clear indication that this is the third base over here. And we are gonna have void ray carrier as the air support in this game. In Hydralin. Plus two range. Fire is almost complete here. As we start putting in the gases onto the fourth base over here. Slowly see that drone coming over to start mining. The fourth base for Coke has been placed as well. Non stop carrier shield upgrade as well, plus two. I'm trying to cancel out here. Carriers arrived. Slowly the golden Amarda is coming to be. Twilight Council down as well. Another Nexus. Another Stargate. This is not looking good for Vildnux. As he gets Corruptors in with attack one. Air weapons for the Zerg player. Tries no Mothership. Automatically starts. Air weapons level three for Coke. This is not looking good for our Zerg player over here. As another Overlord does die. Let's see how big the army is getting. No Moko yet. No Mothership. Alright, the mothership has started. Ooh, at the fourth base location. Very ballsy of Coke. I believe Coke is going to try to come across here. And go along here to attack the main base. When there is no hive yet, the infestation pit is almost completed. So 
the longer this game goes, the stronger Coke's army is gonna get. As we get plus two shields. Oh, Coke's gonna take a fifth base, and it's gonna be on the Volnux side. Oh, this is very dangerous play. As the Golden Armada can go across there. Meanwhile, massive group of Ruptors, Hydras, and Lings are coming towards the first to the natural base of Coke. Coke has a slow moving army. Alright, the Hydras are gonna attack the cannons, get rid of the cannons. The high Oh no, the Corruptors are here. There's a lot of Corruptors here. They're not target firing down the carriers just as yet. Now they're gonna come. Ooh, that's a lot of Corruptors. Slowly destroying each carrier, slowly. Sky's Grid Force, yes. Meanwhile, not enough Zealots are with no charge. Charge is only halfway done. The air squids are gonna clean up the air robots. AKA the carriers and the versus corruptors. The corruptors are just gonna pee or piss right on that. As the hydras just take out the buildings. A couple of them are headbutting. I had enough of this building. I'm just gonna headbutt it. And Coke is going to fall apart here at the Nadro. Meanwhile, there is more reinforcements of Corruptors and Hydra coming across the skies and the land. Coke is in big trouble here. Four carriers at a time. Will that be enough? Even though there is the Moco. Well, there is no Mocos anymore. The mothership is here. Now, will this be the saving grace of Coke? Even though there is not much here to defending this mothership. The mothership is going to go down. Another carrier. Carriers are getting target fired. Not enough here. The Hydras are going to take the DPS to the interceptors. But they are going to get cut off. The reinforcements are going to get cut off by the Zealots here. Zealots with charge are pretty good against Hydras. This is forcing Volnux to you back off. And to regroup. But now it's back down to four bases for Coke. Coke lost a mining base out of this. But still producing four carriers at a time. I guess three right now. But he does have four Stargates. Not enough gas because he lost a natural. Alright, a couple of probes are going to try to... Ooh, they're going to mine... Oh, okay, they're going to mine out the middle of the map here. That way, that's not good for Coke if there's a big swarm like this. Roaches and Hydras and Lings. Well, this probably is going to like, yep. I'm just going to open this. Jabate you. Now, Volnex did the right transition. Switching over to the Roaches. Once the, once the Archons were... All right, Lings are an attack here at the front. Oh, he's gonna go all frontal battle just to open up that and come into the main base. There are a lot of charge lots here. They have plus two shields, so they are pretty durable here. But yes, get them up in the open space. But no, no. Well, looks it is gonna push back. Poke is gonna hold. Now Volnux sees this opening. This will be the biggest game changing right here. And does he see it? Does he see the opening? How do you not see that and turn your position around? As we're going to get the gold base here as the sixth base. Koga is going to be down two bases, but he does have a powerful army. That's a lot of charge lots. But they are just gonna die so easily to the roaches and hydras. A 
as we try to get a big of the lot of the ch charge lots moved from the main course of the army. Two Archons might fall here. One Archon for sure is getting pretty low in health. One Archon is going to go down. A carrier is going to go down. Oh, the carrier just survives. A lot of Archons here. To help take out the bio of the Zerg player. There's only three carriers here. It's going to be... Carriers are very slow. Not surprising to see all these carriers. Oh, that's a lot of charge lots and archons, but the charge lots can't get through. The archons are just buffing. Save the arch the zealots. Skin here. They're like, we'll take out the rest of the army. You just sit back and watch. Alright. Look at the supply. Where is the supply here? That's the six base is gonna go down. Or Balnux. Balnux is trying so hard. But the upgrades are in favor of Coke. Storm is halfway complete right now. All it is is Archons and Charger Lots. Upper Brewlords are being morphed in. Need to get some more charge, more, yeah, there we go, more Broodlords. Wow, this is a complete Roach army now. Roaches are good against Archons and Charger Lots. Army of, oh no, there's a lot of army up here attacking the third base. But 10 drones are going to go down. Coke is going to clean up most of this army, but now the Broodlords are here. And GG Volnax takes game number one. All right, this lovely time for the black screen of death. Let's say wait for the game to load up. But well, the Coke was gonna win that with the air toss. Especially with his upgrade advantage he had. Baldnux came back. Right. Just waiting for the game to go to the new patch. Hope everyone's having a good day. Yes, Golden Ball always gives out bangers. It's a one of those maps a lot of people will veto. But it does give a lot of good games. That is for sure.
as we go into game number two. As we wait. As we go to Dethera. Dethora. And the game decides to go. So. Wow. Alright guys, give me one second. I gotta go, go do something. Meanwhile, this is gonna reload up. The game decides to go. Bloop. Alright, we're gonna see the main screen should load up and I'll get the game going right after this guys. Sorry about the delay. There's sound. Yeah, I had to take a picture of the girlfriend's son's birthday presents. Warbuff is trying his best. Oh, I know he is.
Nope, oh, just AFK. As we go to Death Aura. All right. As convinced, almost convincing the casher that he was going to win. Last game. It's Coke representing Barn Ghost to. Going the 15 hatch extractor trick from LG and winning the last game. Will he pull through? It is. All Nux. Oh, going for another extractor trick just to get out an extra drone. Coke sees this. Oh, that, there's alarm bells. This is the very quiet moment of the game. Nothing too much happening. Full finishing up here. Well, next, sneaking out a couple more drones here. Eight lings on the production tab, including speed. No drones on gas. Well, Nux is fully all in in this game. The idea of this build is to have links cross the map before before the first adept gets across. Even with Chrono Boost, we're likely with this map. This can happen where slow links get a few seconds of of speed link action with these new speed. What are these called? Acceleration zone. There we go. Well, just waiting for speed to finish up here. The first adept is up, but not warp gate. Shield battery is down a little late. Dr Bling's almost breaking through. Meanwhile, the first adept is going to go down. First dr probe is going to go down. And Coke is under siege. Going to go after the cyber cord. Get that gateway. Warp gate. Upgrade gone. Coke, bring the shield battery onto the. So I have a cord to make sure it does does not lose that. But meanwhile, oh no, the Ling's DPS is way too much here. Ling a dance in here just for his life. And Warp Gate is gonna get denied. This is not looking good for our Protoss player here. Manage the hole, but loses the most important building he needs. Cybercore. This this is the gateway. Where's he building a cyber car? Oh, up in the main base where it's safer. Alright, third base. Down for full next. Hope oh, going with the Stargate again. Now, if Voldnux did have kept on going for gas and had a Bane Nest, 
behind this, this would have been gone. This game would have been over, but nope. Bulldog is going to pull off, be a respectable player. And Jaden go for the late game. He knows he can win the late game. Proving his point from last game. Very well. As we see Adepts just being warped in. As Coke has to wait for warp gate. A robo facility is robo facility being warped in. Overlord poop poking in here into the main. Sees that there is a twilight, I believe. Does he see there's a twilight? Yes, he does. And it's going to be Glaze Adepts. Very interesting from Coke here. Another strong build. This stalker is angry with his Overlord. Overlord poking back in to make sure he gets the scout off. Sees that there is something being researched over at the Twilight Council. Confirms that. And the draw dark shrine comes down as well. Lair is about to be finished here. Well, there's a dark shrine in this case. The dark, the glaive temp. Ooh, very interesting. Glaive Temp. As the Overlords are going to the corners of the maps. Here, Ling's sc screwing across the map here, seeing there if there's any damage you can get. Sees the Warp Prism and sees the amount of Adepts there is, so now he knows there is going to be a Glaive Adept build. But he doesn't know about the Dark Shrine. Lots of Roaches, Spines are being added as well. No Spores yet. No Orbis here is being morphed in. Roach speed has just started. Plus one missile attack is halfway done. It's just Lings and Roaches. All right. Six Dark Temp is being warped in here. Oh no. This could be devastating. There is no spores. And two Dark Templars are going to go down onto that. As the Adepts do go push up the whole army and in back into the natural. The third base is going to be sieging down. This third base is going to go. Oh, Overseers have been morphed. And Volnux is going to hold this. Is going to realize, hey, why are you warping in more GTs? I have Overseers. Why aren't you warping in stalkers or salads that can do more damage to these? Meanwhile, Boldnox is going to hold. And he's just going to push across the map. Immortal is on its way. But now these roaches have speed. Now they can go across the map a little bit faster. And with these acceleration zones, a lot faster. They're going to come 1-2 right to the front door of Coke. There's no Overseer here. There's no Overseer speed yet. Coke sees that. There is no speed. And one gateway is going to go down. But there is a D two DTs here. Now the Overseers are here. Super shield battery is here. And Coke is going to leave the game. And Volmax is going to take the game 
All right, as we look back into the new patch, oh, struggles. As we sign in once again, hopefully the game doesn't crash. All right, now we got some PvP. Now this shall be interesting. PvP. On Golden Wall. we go as we go to EP All right, in the red, representing the Gosu crew, we have Sesso. The king of buffaloes. The one and only, we have Warbuff the second, representing Alpha X. This guy's the old patch do not show the team logos. A lot easier. As we have a little pro fight here happening. No, you can't block me. I'll block you. Alright. What's this pesky prop up to? What are you putting down? Nothing? Okay, we'll come back to you. As we see the standard 
Oh, war buff is gonna go with the cyber car before Nexus. Cecil is gonna go with the double gateway. Ah, uh, we got a war buff in the ch fan in the chat. Sorry guys, I'm also having a dog that does not listen. Likes to chew on the bookshelf. One day I'll have a cam, you guys can see the puppy. You naughty bro. Put in this pylon here. Do 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 war buff. It's gonna be like do 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 do. Oh, that's what you put in my third. No, I'm not putting my third there. That's just probs like. Ha, ha, ha. We're gonna see the double stalker opener. We're gonna see the one sentry. Both players are getting more gate. Oh, we're gonna put our proxy gateway here in the third of Buffalo. Wow, Buffalo is getting two of. Oh, not quite enough. And the probe, the first blood is going to go happen as the sentry gets the one kill. Two stalkers, a robo facility as well on their way for war buff. This is going to give him the extra punch with stalkers versus stalkers. These two stalkers are gonna go. Oh, like oh, there is a gateway in our on our side of the map. Or buff is gonna target down the pylon, which is the safe move. Orb gate is almost finished for Sesso. And war buff is gonna get denied that orb gate for that gateway over there. So, so it's gonna go for the Stargate behind this as well. Changing on the fly. As the hallucinated Phoenix comes in, sees that there is a gate Stargate coming down. Scouts off perfectly. So, so it's gonna get the faster natural. War prison coming out of the robo facility for war buffalo. Oracle coming out for Sesso. Across the map here. Gain a couple more stalkers. As the Oracle of Cecil is going to go across the map here. Undetected. There it comes. There's a shield battery here to save the probes. Oh, that probe. Oh. One luck. Oh, one probe goes down. And is that going to be enough? Oh, that's going to be enough. Wow, there's only four stalkers here to... Six, eight, oh, seven. Look at that. Math on stream. All right. Target fire in the... The pylon, Cecil's gonna GG, and war buff is gonna take game Nimmo. Huh.
as we log in back here, we're going to continue this Avenger of the J JSL Season 6. See we As we go to Ice and Chrome in this best of three PvP. If you guys are new to Grova, I'd like to welcome, welcome, welcome you. As Alpha X has been doing a lot of the content on this new platform, streaming platform. Was designed apparently for mobile games. But they have welcomed desktop games, PC games. I have not seen any console gamers on here just as yet. But it's a nice experience. It feels like Twitch, looks like Twitch, act like Twitch. They're in beta right now. Give them a big shout out. As we load it into ice and All right. Representing the Ghost of Crew, we have in the red Sesso. Representing Alpha X as the Blue Protoss. We have the King of Buffaloes, War Buff, Cecil is building his stuff on the other side of the map, double gateway, triple gateway, is there going to be a fourth gateway? And there is all lined up in a row. The good four gate pressure. Excuse me. All right, we're about to put in that in that cyber core down ASAP. Meanwhile. Two gateways are going to be completed. No gas being minded here for Sesso. All zealots is the four gate zealot pressure build, which is pretty much an all in. If Warbuff holds us, he wins. Because there is nothing at home. It's a pesky probe. Just scouting, seeing there's no gas, just idling. As there's three zealots coming across from the third base of Buffalo. Gonna pop right into the base. Oh, good, there's a pylon there. The pylon box is gonna be real here. As Warbuff does have them both pointed out. Oh no, one soccer gets out. Oh no, there's an Artosis pylon now. Zalots being very indecisive here. The Zalots get the pylon. The pros have been pulled. Trying to get some rounds here onto the Zalots. One Zalot is going to go down. Another probe's going to go down. These three probes have gone down. 
Oh no. Poor buff is in trouble here. It's just Zala's for day for Cecil here. As four come across the map, there's nothing being productive. Oh no, the pylon is just out of reach. This is not looking good. Zala gets wrapped around. As we play ring around Rosie, around the base. Delicates are good against stalkers, especially if they have charge. Oh no. Oh no. This is the only units that Warbuff has. Oh no, a stalker goes down. Oh, probes are going down. Oh, let's look at the unit toss. Oh my goodness, 23 probes. GG is called. And Warbuff. Goes down in history with the salad. You get the cyber core up and oh, more stalkers out. Hmm. But no, there was too many zealots across the map. All right, as we wait for the loading screen to hear. Everyone's enjoying themselves. But yes, let your friends know Sniper is on Trovo now. No longer on Twitch. Trying out this new platform. The beautiful collections. Let's go to game number three as we go to Internal Empire. As we get some color change, maybe this will be, maybe this will give Cecil some better luck. Playing as the purple Protoss from the Gosu crew, we have Cecil. Losing to Zealots, just Zealots. Here he is, the King of Buffaloes, representing Alpha X. We have Orbuff.
bit of a big black, black hole warping in matter to build a building which is kind of cool actually taking all the energy in just to build a building and Sesto is going to put a very aggressive pylon here Oh, gonna force the cannon rush. And quotations there. Take some probes off the mine. Let me mind. Is he gonna cancel? Yes, he is. He's gonna cancel the last second. It is a fake. That uh, buys Cecil some mining time against war buff. Meanwhile, one probe is still chasing. Meanwhile, his other probe is still going across the map here. Gotta sneak in. Oh, I don't want that. Jeez. We don't want to look at the destructible rocks. Right. This probe's like, hmm. You didn't put a forge in your base. Why shall I believe you? I'm just going to patrol your base. Wow, the cyber card for war buff is... Just one second below completed. Just watch the probe betray patrol in the enemy's lines. We are getting two adepts from War Buff, two stalkers from Sesso. Right, where are you up to, Pesky Probe? Looking for proxies. It's always good. We got two adapts from War Buff going across the map. War Buff is going to bring out the Stargate play this game. And meanwhile, Cecil is going to go the Twilight route. And War Buff's. Adepts are going to get into the barrel of mine. No pylon block. Probe's going to go down. Another probe's going to go down. And one adept is going to escape. Five probes for one adept. Stalkers are going to hightail this adept. They're going to go across the map here. As adepts in pursuit of going home. Cecil going with the Dark Shrine. As war buff is pumping out Phoenix. All oh, right. This is looking very interesting from War Buff. Robo facility coming along as well for Sesso, which should have been started about halfway done when the Dark Shrine was halfway done. But I'm not a Protoss player. I'm not a Protoss expert. I just figured it'd be easier. Sesso's not getting for a natural. Very interesting. Dark Shrine is finished here. War Buff getting his own facility as well. Getting a Oracle out as well here. And did War Buff see? Did War Buff see it? Warbuff did see the Dark Shrine. He realized, oh, there's TTs coming, all right. One TT is warp been warped in. That's so finally getting his.
Natural done. All right, more beams coming out. What are you up to, war buff? Stalkers in Phoenix, one Oracle. This Phoenix is gonna go out. Two Phoenix are going out. There was a DT that went by, but there is gonna be an observer. As one TT is gonna go into the base of Orbuff. And Orbuff is in trouble. Alright, the Oracle. The Azerber is here. Oh, nice pickup with the Phoenix on that DT. However, 12 probes did go down. That one DT. Warbuff just making units. What a hurry feels like. Phoenix, Stalker. Ooh, we're gonna get the DT blink or sad shadow stride. And charge. Ooh, it's gonna be interesting. Charge. This Phoenix survived just by one shot. Oh, this this war prism gonna go down. The war prism is gonna go down. So does the Phoenix. That's an amazing trade. Getting rid of that. War Prism resets Cecil's army. As we get a Robo Bay, Robotics Bay here for War Buffalo. This shall be interesting. DTs versus either Colossi. Their base is under siege here. Gets the cancel, Cecil. Meanwhile, Warbuff has to come back. At least there's an observer here. Super shield battery is... He has been ignited. Warbuff is holding this push. Very well within beautiful force fields. <laughs> hey, you never know. War buff getting Colossi, that would be awesome. Alright, War buff just making sure there is no War Prism in his base. Oh shoot, there is. And there's a cannon here to protect the probes. And the DT goes away once again. As Warbuff is getting his plus two. Cecil is only getting his plus one just now. One disruptor is underway. The robo facility is being more warped. Warped in. Wow. To me, morphs, warps. He's a zealot getting warped in. That's it. The zealot's going to be like, yes, I'm going to take on the entire army. Nope, just gonna sit here. Be a nuisance for a probe. Take the third base. 
And Sesso is going to take his turn before war buff this game. Dalek clean, gets cleans up. And War Buffet is going to finally take his third base right now. Sessa with a nice, big, aggressive army right here coming across. But as Todd, our French caster Todd, would say, look at this bleu. Nice drop. Nova is going to get... Oh, gets a bunch of Zealots. Hoping for an Archon. Plus two has not been has not been activated yet. Gets two Archons. Beautiful shot. With that Nova. War Buffalo is keeping those Disruptors be safe and behind. Using the third Disruptor Nova to make sure the army does not come after. Loses his third base. This could be the battle of the century, though. Oh no! Cecil wasn't looking! Now that time he was. The first time he wasn't takes always the one shot. He's gonna lose his war prison once again. War Buffalo seeing that Cecil is retreating. War Buff. Are you going for the killing blow? Are you just... Oh, he's going to go for the killing blow. He's chasing. As he gets his turn. He's saturated. Oh. Gonna wait for the disruptors. Reinforcements to arrive. Five disruptors. It's looking deadly for a war buff. With one immortal, five disruptors. Oh no, don't tell me. That Zealot's going for his death and goes right by our war buff's army. War buff doesn't care. He's got a Phoenix for scouting to make sure. Plus three for war buff. Storm, which is a very interesting upgrade for in a PvP. Oh, gets a bunch of zealots in that hit. Gets a high Templar. No more feedbacks for you, sir. And this comes to crunch time. Nova Bolt's got a hit, and there's a decent connection. Oh, another decent connection. And War Buff is going to go... Trying to save the disrupt disruptors. One is going to fall. Two is going to fall. Two out of five have fallen. But war buff, getting amazing Nova's shots. Now there's escaping probes. The probes are in retreat. They know what's coming. Oh, and the warp prism. That's the. How many warp prisms has that been? Three warp prisms. Four Cecil have gone down. This is not looking good. Or Sesso, or Buff is just gonna go in. An immortal. One immortal is not gonna be enough. And War Buff is on top of the production here of Sesso. Sesso's in trouble here. Hoping the warp in five zealots. Using the force field to save his stalkers from the zealots. And Storm coming down on the stalkers. Surprisingly, kills a few stalkers, but that's GG. As Warbuff takes game number three. All right, guys, time for the last match of week one.
Ho ho, another... All right. As we go to a, I believe Terran versus Terran. Anyone can help me here in chat. Savior, was it a Terran versus Terran? I don't know my Russian, but. I'm guessing that's what it means. I guess we'll just find out why. So we had ZVP. PVP. I believe this is TVT. If my Russian is correct. Eastern European is correct, I should say. I do not know where the place came from. Well, I do, but I don't know who's who won the games yet. I know who staff member I am, but we are going to start off with Golden Wall once again in this series. This whole week, week one was Golden Wall for map one. This is how GSL works. Map one is predetermined, and then the loser picks the next map. In correction, Jim Lewis is on Cutie Patootie Club. As we go into the Spessa 3, and it is Terran versus Terran. Representing embers on fire, we have in the teal Terran Savior. Currently teamless as the red Terran, we have. Z Georgian of players being very standard. If you're having this faster second gas. Reaper coming out for both players. Pretty mirror matchup right now for a mirror matchup. We are going to see the factory a little bit faster for the Georgian. there was a pause in the game as you can guys tell these are from replays kind of cool like how these all casted alive they are have an option the players do have them option 
you cast them live or to have them cast it by replay. As we get some Reaper Reaper action. And the Georgian is going to lose his Reaper though. Maybe from some ping. Okay, and that starport is the savior. Maybe he's the savior of Terran. Maybe he's the next Maru, but we do not know. All right. I believe the Georgian is from EU and Savior is from NA. So the rules in the during GSI, you have to play on. I believe it's the NA server. But in fairness, you could do NA, EU, NA. So each player has a shared advantage. You get three Reapers versus two Reapers and a Hellion. Or I should say three Reapers, two Hellions. Oh, right in the middle of the crossfire. One Hellion is going to go down. One Reaper is going to go down as well. The majority of Savior's army is going to get beat up by the grenade. And this puts Savior in a good position here. Put some pressure onto the natural of the Georgian. That's muscle emitting. Other stuff as well too. Sorry about that. All right. And I believe Embers on Fire is a team underneath the rise of Goku. Can't remember exactly. I know the team. I played them a, team a bit on ladder myself. All right. The continue pressure from Savior. Ooh, this is Georgian just gets the siege tank. Siege tank is gonna push off, do some quite quality damage. Now the Reaper does go down. As we have a Liberator in the main here, I'm getting six, seven SCVs, eight SCVs for its trouble, and it's gonna fly on out of here. Meanwhile. One Reaper is finally going to go down. Reapers versus a tank. I don't know. Beat bopping a tank. That's interesting to see. And this SUV is like, I want to kill this, but I can't reach. And while Savior does lose the Liberator versus Liberator, but the damage is done. Liberator for eight SUVs. Alright, looks like the Georgian is going on the biology. He's got stem starter up. A bio tank here as well for Savior. So we get the liberator of the Georgian to come in. It's finally gonna come in. I'm trying to do some damage here. Alright. Sieging up here in the Main base. Getting six for its trello. Now gonna go to the natural. Siege up in the natural. Two marines are gonna come across here. Get rid of this liberator. It's gonna get a six. SCVs for its troubles. However, Javier did, did more damage to the Georgian by two SCVs. However, as it says here, losing a tank, losing a liberator, and we have a push coming here from Savior. Guard doing a pressure for an attack. He's gonna use this as bait, most likely.
uses the Vikings as a high ground spotter. As Savior boosts into the base here. Gonna load. Uh oh. He's attacking before one plus one is started. The stim here is done and combat shields for Le for the Georgian. Well, that brings enough for Savior to come up with his main force into the main base. He is gonna. Oh no, the bass repairs. Seven more SUVs are gonna go down. Vikings here for the air support support to take out this main base this natural for and the mass repair is gonna happen here and well the Georgian has lost nine S nine more SUVs as we have marine marauder coming into effect here for the Georgian the Georgian is gonna flow over his mer his third base over. Now it's gonna be his natural. Plus one, plus one here for the Georgian is almost complete. Ooh, one medevac is gonna go down though. Savior so trying to keep the medevac count down low. Savior so trying to keep pushing. There's another battalion ready. Liberator, Liberator coming into the high ground zone. So there are two Vikings here though. Oh no. The Georgian is going to clean up. Savior. Very damaged units here though. But Benefix have half filled energy. One medevac Caesar is a potential drop here. Caesar is a third base. Loads up the tank in the other marine. This is an over. Oh no, this is not good too. Three SUVs are idled. And the George does not know this is coming across. Oh no, a drop into the natural location here. As more SUVs go down, this is pulling back the drop from the George here. Savior so trying to get out. Oh no, loses the tank and the Marine. Beautiful play by the Georgian. And Savior has the retreat. As he gets his combat and stem at the 11 minute mark. There's the units lost. 24 SCVs. Going down. All right. Three SUVs going down here. There's another Dream Drop. There is a drop here. Oh no, Stim Marines in the mineral mine. 11 SUVs are gonna go down. Oh no. 13, 14 SUVs. 14 additional more SUVs have gone down. 20 in total for Savior. Oh no, this is not looking good. Just been a massacre today. For SUVs. See if you're with the biggest army supply and in similar supplies here. But the George has 52 workers. That 
that drop hurt Saviors really badly. Cutting his SUV in half. But the George has the upgrade advantage. He does have his plus one, plus one already. Savior waiting for his plus two. Sorry, his plus one, plus one to finish up. He does have the bigger army count. We'll give him that. Just the Vikings. Oh, are gonna bait. And two more SUVs are gonna go down. This is not a day to be SUVs at all. Savior. Maybe one, two medivacs. As three medivacs come over here with two tanks. Oh, Caesar is a fourth base as well. Gonna drop into the natural. Four more SUVs. It's gonna go down for the George. The George's base is on fire. It's gonna go down. Another base might go down as well. As it's being focus fired. Two bases are gonna go down. Half the army came to push this army out as it goes down. The George is supply block as well. This is looking good for Xavier, but it is plus two, plus two versus plus one, one. All right, Savior only lost two Marines. The George lost two bases. Those two Marines. All right, trying to drop into the main here once again. Needs to get those tanks down first. Siege them up, siege those tanks up. We're gonna get a siege tank, no. Nope. Oh, there we go, there's the siege tank. Liberators are gonna come in. Friendly fire as well from the other tanks. But they're in a choke as well, so that's not looking good for Savior's units. But the Georgian is gonna hold the drop, push up the front. I believe. He's not gonna save that bunker. That bunker is gonna go down. And as it's burning down. Savior getting all the upgrades as well. Oh no, the Georgian has lost all of his Vikings. That poor Marine. Alright, Savior is going to back off. Respect his opponent. His opponent is pushing out. Meanwhile, Savior does not know he's pushing out. Xavier are getting his fourth base at the Golden I'll go to him base location. Oh no, does the Georgian sees it? Oh, sieges the tanks just in time. But it's a little too late. There is way too much army here. They do have plus two. The supply is going down for Savior Switch, but the rest of the reinforcements are arriving here. Steaming forward. Tanks are sieging. And Savior is just bringing out his army out of nowhere, but that's not enough. The Georgian is going to push on through. Only four Marines against the army, a handful of them. The Georgian is pushing forward here. And Savior is in trouble here, losing more SOVs. This is not looking good for our blue teal pro Terran player. 
as corny as CVs are going down, look at the supply. The supply tells the story. 105 to 67. And the third base of Savior is under pressure. And siege tanks sieging up on the top of the hill. Oh, it's not a good day to be an SUV in this game. Total of 89 SUVs in this game have been lost. 55 to Savior and 34 to the Jordan 35 now. The Jordan could finish this game, but he's after this won't. He's not gonna chase that one SUV. But Savior somehow comes back with a, a supply on one base. Like there's two, four, six, eight Marines at a time, a tank at a time, two Vikings as I almost break my chair. Yes, that is true, Drachnus. Savior needs to take a godly engagement. Taking a secret base in the top right hand corner of Golden Wall and the Golden Base trying to catch up with the economy. But the Georgian has a planetary as his fourth. So this is looking good for the Georgian. He's gonna be two more three bases ahead of savior but we're at the point in the game where mineral mines are getting low the georgian going up the middle classic special tactics right there but savior has three three he needs to hit before three three is finished for the, the georgian all right, this could be the final push here. Vikings are going to go down, but 3 3 is here before. These, siege, these tanks aren't sieged, though. If these tanks were sieged, these would be a lot better in favor of Savior, but that does not matter. 3 3 is better than 2 2, but does not show that. Oh no, if those tanks were sieged, Vikings are going to be forced to land. DPS of the Vikings is just going to be enough. At what cost, though? Where is that medevac? These two medevacs are just chilling. They're like, do we drop or not drop? All right. She's that is a planetary. Supply is pretty even, but the Georgian has the worker advantage by a long shot, and the bank to produce the units. Oh. Savior just getting out in the nick of time. Forcing a lift off though. Gonna land at the golden base here though. A medevac is gonna go down though. It's three versus it's three three versus three three. This base is gonna go down because these guys have the long haul all the way around. Oh, this is not looking good. Even with the medevac. Oh, just in a hot pickup, just in time. Savior is going to save that Marine. As they say, no Marine left behind, but... Alright, this is Jordan scanning to see if there's a third base in the third base location. But this is a Jordan has the supply advantage by a long shot here. Excuse me, as I try to fix my chair here. Excitement's getting too much here. This is game number one. So remember, that's game number one for between the Georgian and Savior. They're neck and neck. The Georgian are having a little problem here, trying to spend, get his money to spend his gas. He needs to get that money in. Getting those mules on top of the. Oh, he's gonna get the gas over here at the gold base. 
These Marines are like, I want to go. Ah, uh, the Georgian stops them. They wanted to go with that medevac. As these medevacs, this medevac is going to go across the map. All right. Base almost completely mined out here. Sending a doom drop. Oh, they get it gets spotted. All oh, the marauders are the backbone of this army. But the marauder gets picked off though, and it's just a Mexican showdown, which is in favor of the Georgian. The Georgian stops that drop. Yeah, the Georgian is taking his worker lead advantage to the max. Savior is building eight Marines at a time. If you add some Marauders into this, might it might favor him a bit more. Some of these fights could have changed. But however, he's just going pure Marine tank. As that Marine goes up for a jog to see where the army is. Oh, and he's gonna see it. And he's gonna like, ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tickle you guys. Hi, I'm here, as he says, as he goes down. The Georgian is bringing this. Oh, see on the high ground, get that tank. All oh, the Marauders are going to take that tank out, and Savior is going to GG. What a game number one. What a game number one. The last matchup, last series of the week one group C of season six GSL. TVT. All right, guys. While the game loads up again, I have to order supper. As we patiently wait, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's getting their week four games in. Maybe we have up till Sunday to get those games in. These will be downloaded and uploaded to YouTube as well for you guys to see and review. And just laugh at your silly mistakes. Everyone has silly mistakes as me. I went from M3 all the way down to Plat 1 MMR. Sorry, let me correct that. I went from Diamond 1 MMR down to Plat 1, and then it bounced back up to M3. So it, there is a lot of mistakes in this game you can make. I've only been offline for 27 minutes. No, I haven't. I've been online for the last two hours. Hope everyone is enjoying Season 6 as much as I have. And I've only been casting cast game one, game 1 of... The last series as we go to game two TVT on Eternal Empire. Let's 
get right into the game, guys. Oh, wait. Guys, I'm also learning supper. And then after my girlfriend goes back to work, I'll be casting week two tonight. I'm getting two weeks done as we go to the Eternal Empire. Ooh, life is great. The land of Starcraft. All right. Just be patiently with me. As we wait, in the abyss. Return on part to load. And it loads. Oh, and it's the new patch update with the counter. Who ever thought of that? What happened tonight on this amazing last series of TBT? Where you can actually use the timer. The good luck. GLF, your opponent. No excuses now, people. In the teal. Almost making a comeback to win the game. We have from Embers on Fire. We have Savior. Apparently teamless. And there's the red. Making a comeback to win his game for the game number one. We have the Georgian. Ah. 
Ah, that's what Savior does. He goes for both gas at the same time. So really, he's getting the faster gas, but by slightly... By a lot, actually. Teams going with the barracks, hoping with the factory. See if you're going with this two Reaper opener. Very interesting to see. Oh, is the Georgian is only getting the one Reaper? Person up close and personal with the Reaper. Mr. Reaper, what are we doing today? Interview? No. Two Reapers against one. Oh! Getting so close. 4 HP. He's like, alright, can't touch this. Da -na 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 -na. Good song, guys. It's a really good song. I probably butchered it, but we are gonna get mass Reapers. Uh oh. This is gonna be a mass Reaper play, but we get one Hellion and two Reapers. Oh, there's gonna be four Reapers and one Hellion here. Savior, what are you up to? Are you gonna try to fake your opponent that it's mass Reapers? Alright, so the so Georgian is gonna see that there is no natural. Six Reapers gonna come. All right. Oh, almost killing his own Reaper with his own grenade. The Jordan just pulls away, just in time. So especially if you're new to StarCraft, folks. Reapers do heal, even though we all should know that by now. It should be doing a little dance at the Zenaga Tower. All right. As Jordan is almost going to lose another, almost lost his Reaper again, once again. All right, we're going to have a medevac coming along here. Six Reapers, three Hellions. What is this, folks? Are we going to see battle cruisers behind this from Savior? I don't know. All right. Oh, we're going to see the elevator. Tivir's like, oh, shoot. There goes the elevator idea. As, oh my goodness. Both team, both players are going to lose one hell in each. There is a tank and a liberator here, but hey. Who can... Oh, no. This is going to be a massacre. These poor SUVs. This is not a series to watch if you're an SUV lover. Oh no. Siege Chang's gonna come up and you see agents like, that's enough. Liberator trying to zone out the. Li Savior is gonna take another Reaper out. Another Siege Chang. Oh no. And Savior is gonna get out, out of there, killing nine SCVs from two Hellions on this push. All right. Be kind of cool if there was Hellbats in this push, but there is no Armory in the base. And two Vikings. It's gonna be a Marine tank again from Savior.
Lorenzo Jordan is loving his Liberator harass. This Liberator is going to go in. Oh, so he just right up. A perfect siege up right here. Kind of gets some revenge here. And only four, five SUVs. What an average trade for a Liberator. All right. We got the moolah for the pizza. After this game, I'm going to order the pizza. And then we're going to cast the last game. Then I'm going to have supper. And then after supper, once again, I'm going to remind you guys, we are going to do week number two. So stay tuned. We get a half an hour break for me to catch up, get some drinks, do some stuff around the house quickly. And then we'll be back right into the action. As the action continues, with this parade push right here of tanks and marines, we don't want the little creature. I don't know what the hell this is called, but we can't see it. Love to know what it's called. 